Hello everybody, today we're going to continue our explorations with Jamla Sketchpad and uh, explore an uh, artistic design called Cardio Daisy. This is a variation of the Daisy design we learned. It was discovered by a student of mine in a Jamla Sketchpad lab uh, accidentally. Uh, so I'm going to show you how this is done. Uh, so let me just show you what we're hoping to do. Uh, this shape is called a cardioid and in the middle is the daisy that you've seen before. Uh, so here is a animated design that uh, transforms from the cardioid into the daisy and back into the cardioid on the other side. It is a fun construction, not too difficult hopefully, uh, and uh, we're going to learn how to do that. So please open Geometry Sketch Path 5.0 or higher, uh, open a new sketch. Uh, I already have a sketch here. I'm going to open and add a blank page. Um, so the way we start is you go to the circle tool and you create a circle. This point is going to be the radius control point. So I just want to name it so I don't confuse it with the uh, moving point uh, in a minute, radius control. And what we need to do is we need to create the uh, diameter of this uh, circle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to shoot from the radius control towards the center of the circle. Uh, and this will create this point. If you click with the arrow, you'll be able to create that. Let's make it sort of something like that. Uh, it's going to turn out that I will not need uh, this ray or the center. So I'm just going to hide it. So if you go to display, hide objects, um, so here is uh, your um, radius point and a point on the other side of the diameter. Now I go to the segment tool to create the diameter and we are ready. Now if you remember how we did it last time, we had a point which was the center of a circle, which I'm going to sort of like start here again. And last time what we did is we opened our uh, circle so that this point right here landed on the center of the original circle. And then we rotated this second circle with uh, 30 degrees, 20 degrees, whatever you want, however many circles you wanted in your daisy design. But what we're going to do is we're going to land it somewhere on the diameter that doesn't necessarily have to be the center. So this was the accident that the student made. Instead of landing on the uh, center, landed on somewhere else. And that is the beauty of Jamla Sketchpad. Um, accidents are actually happy discoveries quite often, so they are to be treasured. Alrighty, so here is our uh, construction. So let me move things a little bit so you can see what's going to happen. Uh, you can already see the cardioid shape starting to form. Uh, so what I want to do is let me pull this point a little bit here so we can see things better. Um, let's create a couple of things. The first thing I want to create is an animation button for this point because as it moves uh, back and forth, uh, we're going to have uh, an interesting uh, shape being created. So let's create an animation button for that. And then, so this could go at minimum speed, uh, sorry, medium speed, uh, bi-directional, that's fine. You could change your mind about that later. And then let us create a show and hide button for this thing, uh, everything we have on this uh, sketch so far, so we can hide it at the end. Let's test it. Okay, and let's test the button, great. So what I wanna now do is I wanna create a collection of circles uh, that are created, that are traced as this movable point moves on the circle. Uh, that is called a locus. A locus is a permanent trace and it needs a driver, in this case, this point, and it needs a point uh, or point or an object of interest, in this case, the circle. So I select the driver, the object of interest, construct locus. Normally, uh, the locus comes with a lot of things being plotted. So select the locus, go to edit properties, 
Uh, when it's so dense, it's not actually fun to watch. I'm going to just change this number 250 to just 36. That's kind of like a 10 degree rotation. If you were doing the daisy design, you'd be rotating by 10 degrees. All right, uh, so this is why you need the radius control so we can see how things fit onto the screen. Uh, let's hide our objects. Let's press our animation button. Ta-da! You can see that the uh, object has already been created. It's quite a fun uh, construction to watch. It looks like a balloon uh, filled with water bouncing back and forth. Uh, at this point, as usual, you could uh, improve things aesthetically a little bit. You could select uh, and give it a nice uh, color uh, and thickness, etc. So I'm going to make it uh, thin, all the circles thin. And I would like to color it uh, differently than what we had before, so we have some variety. Let's have it red. And uh, let's also remember how to color the background. So you can go to uh, Preferences, Edit Preferences, Color, Background. Uh, I think the black background always, at least for me, gives a nice uh, feel to it. So here is your Cardio Daisy design, bouncing back and forth, as you can see. Alrighty, I hope you had a good time. Now I want to leave you with uh, a possibility of a variation. I'm just going to show it to you. It's uh, at a page that I created earlier. This is basically the same idea, uh, except what you're going to notice is uh, as the Cardio Daisy bounces around, uh, it bounces uh, in a cyclic fashion. Do you see? You follow this point with your eyes going to notice that it is uh, doing something interesting. So the bounce is actually also uh, turning. Just to give you a quick hint, I'm going to show you some objects. Uh, if it's a hint, that's great. Uh, but uh, here are some uh, things that went into its construction. Alrighty, I hope you had a good time. Uh, enjoy. And if you create some cool variations, please let me know. Alrighty, take care.